Well, here's kind of an amazing turn of events. One of the House of Representatives' top Democrats is pulling no less a figure than Barack Obama into the vast web of Russia conspiracies. Well, appearing on where else? CNN on Sunday, Congressman Adam Schiff of California, who's the top Democrat on the House Intel Committee, said that President Obama should have interfered more in the election in order to stop alleged Russian interference. I think the Obama administration should have done a lot more when it became clear that not only was Russia intervening, but it was uh, being directed at the highest levels of the Kremlin. Given the seriousness of this, I think the administration needed to call out Russia earlier, uh, needed to act to deter and punish Russia earlier, uh, and I think that was a very serious mistake. And he's not alone. There's a song sheet going around. In addition to Schiff, Congressman Jim Himes and Eric Swalwell, both frequent guests on this show, have also criticized Obama in the past week. Why the sudden attacks on the Democrats' former leader? Weird. Victor Davis Hanson is a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution and a professor emeritus at Cal State University, Fresno, and he joins us tonight. So, Victor, what is this about? Well, I think the whole political landscape, the investigatory, investigatory landscape, and the cultural landscape is starting to shift. I mean, Trump may be... Uh, victorious on his travel order. He looks like he's going to have some progress with the health care reform and the tax reform. The economy is doing pretty well. Jobless, jobless uh, is uh, at an all-time low and the stock market's soaring. It looks like there may be a tectonic shift on energy-dependent energies coming back to the United States. That all creates, and he's won four special elections, that all creates a sense of momentum and people want to back off a little bit. And then secondly, I think we really underestimated James Comey's testimony. It was a Pandora's box that let off a lot of demons, and we haven't fully digested them. And Loretta Lynch is facing a lot of exposure yes. because unlike the Trump uh, allegations of um, imp impediment of an investigation, she, uh, Comey admits that he ex acceded to her request, and that's a de facto uh, impediment. And then it's, we haven't really digested that Bill Clinton tarmac meeting with her, we have Comey, who said that he leaked a letter so that he could prompt a special investigator, and then as soon as he finished that investigation, his best friend was appointed to the job. We have the House Intelligence Committee that's now looking at Rice and Brennan and Power. Uh, people are look, going back and looking at this Russian collusion from new eyes, as Adam Schiff pointed out. That we, The first thing that strikes one is that conversation in 2012 where on a hot mic uh, inadvertent admission, Obama basically said, I need safe, I need some more space and I'll be flexible. And under today's charged climate, that might constitute some sort of collusion itself. And why was he being soft on the Russians when, when Hillary had a lot of exposure with the Russians? He himself had this failed six uh, year reset uh, so, gambit. So, what, so, I so think is, is what you're saying that, that this may wind up in places we don't anticipate now? Yeah, I think it's a boomerang, a progressive boomerang that if you're going to take out the king, you've got to take him out. And it didn't work. And Trump's a Nietzschean figure. They get strong. Anything that doesn't take him out makes him stronger. And then the third thing is culturally, people are tired of finding another day another celebrity tries to uh, imagine a way of killing the president of the United States. And when you add in the Shakespearean ritual murder of Trump every night, or you look at trying to challenge the election on voting machines, on sabotaging the electoral college, on cherry picking judges, recusals, deep state uh, Obama bureaucrats, impeachment, 25th amendment, it's just saturating the people and they're saying, you know what, give him six months. But we're trying, this slow motion coup is running out of out of steam and hasn't, it hasn't found anything. And I think the perfect storm of politics, the reversal and the aims of these investigations and then just exhaustion and ennui on the part of the public That's with right. a story that didn't have any legs. It, it all is to, it's working to mm -hmm. Trump's benefit in a way that none of us ever imagined. It's fascinating. You, know, you may be absolutely right. Uh, you get so caught up in it day to day, it's hard to see that. Thanks, Professor. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me, Tucker.